Welcome to day two of Scotland the Brave five day challenge. In this challenge, we're gonna go through the next chunk of Scotland the Brave. If you've just come across this video, look for day one challenge, cause you wanna get that down pat before you jump into this video. Um, if this is too easy, go ahead and search for the, the next one and you can jump ahead. But make sure you've got your fingers figured out on this next lesson, this next day challenge before jumping ahead. And if this is helpful, just look below in the video description. You can get my three free step guide to Get Bagpipe Ready. My name's Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready. And again, I'll just play what you're gonna have at the end of this five day challenge. So that's what we're going through in this challenge series and we're already on the day two. And so on day two, this is a good one. We're gonna get a C doubling and another E grace note. The E grace note we've done once before in the Torluith in our first day challenge, but this C doubling will be new. So I can't wait to show you how this goes. So we're gonna start this chunk on our low A. <laughs> And that's what we're gonna go through in this lesson. So let's break down what's happening there. We're starting on the low A, we're going up to B. So to go to B, we're just lifting one more finger up. So our bottom two fingers are off on the bottom hand. So our bottom two fingers are off on the bottom hand and we're just making sure no other fingers are jumping up or down as we do that. So just a clean note transition. Okay, so if you're happy with that clean note transition, we'll move on here. So we're doing a C doubling from the B. So we're transitioning from the B up to the C. And what that doubling is, essentially it's a G grace note from B to C. And remember, our G grace note is the top finger on the top hand. And we had some work on that in the first day challenge. So now we're doing that G grace note from B to C. And again, just a little bit in slow motion here. So that G grace note is first to lift and last to come, or last to move. So it's kind of initiates the movement and ends the movement as well. But a doubling means we got two, that's double. <laughs> so we got two grace notes. So where's that other grace note coming from? We're doing a, a D grace note immediately after that G grace note. So we don't want a big pause in between the two. It might sound a little bit like that when you're first practicing, but that's okay. Just keep at it and eventually you're gonna get those tightened up. With the transition, it can be hard to tighten them up. So if you're finding it sounding a bit too delayed, I would suggest just holding that C and practice that doubling and get them a little bit tighter. Then you're not worrying about the transition as well as figuring out the doubling. Once you have that a little bit tighter, then you can try adding in that transition as well. So that's our C doubling. So let me just kind of, we'll add that on to our, our low A, B, C doubling. So another way you can think of this is we're just walking up the scale from low A to B to C, and then, but that C we're doing the doubling on C. And that's the last part of this, this uh, day's challenge is from the C. 
We're doing an E grace note. Yes, double checked. <laughs> it's an E grace note. I'm not leading you astray just yet. An E grace note down to low A again. And it's nice. We start on low A, we end on low A, so this can be a nice loop just to, to practice and repeat. <laughs> So let me just break down from C going down to low A. Our pinky finger on the bottom hand is lifting at the same time our two fingers on our bottom hand are going down. But we're doing an E grace note. Again, an E grace note is this ring finger on the top hand. So once you got that E grace note with the transition from the C to the low A figured out, now we can just kind of play this loop where we start and end on the low A and we can just cycle through it. So that's what we've gone over in day two of our challenge. So this is, uh, this is the next version of what we've done from day one. And I'm just going to play day one and day two back to back here so you can see how that sounds in sequence. And bonus points if you're able to put challenge one and challenge two together in one sequence just like that. Again, if you've liked this, if you've enjoyed this, in the video description, if you haven't already, you can get my free three-step guide to get bagpipe ready. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in day three of this five-day Scotland the Brave challenge. Thanks. This has been Alec from Get Bagpipe Ready, and we'll see you in the next challenge.